good day to all and welcome to my channel in today's video we'll see how to work with nested dictionaries in python so over here you see the data set and this data set is a dictionary so let's verify that whether it's a dictionary so for that what i will do is i will use print and then type my data, data type that is vehicle so if i run this command over here uh, so you see it's a dictionary so it's a vehicle is a dictionary and whatever we see on the right hand side it is value and in the similar way state is uh, also a key in the dictionary and it has got these values over here so in for, for in this video what we will do is we will try to add all the values that are added to the key bus so what we will do, what i will do is i will take a variable called as count so that it can contain the sum value of the buses so I'll, so now to access the dictionary what i will do i will use is a for loop for key comma value in vehicle dot items so this particular statement over here what it will do is that it will assign the keys for dictionary to to the uh, to the path to the variable key and the values for that particular key to the variable value so let's verify that so first i will do is what i will do is i will do a print and then just i will use the key and to print to print out all the keys so if you see over here so this dictionary vehicle has three keys into it state one state two and state three so now if i change it and i put the value over here this variable value over here and then run the same command you see all the values for those keys are listed right now so we will use this technique to access all the key and its corresponding values and try to reach this key over here bus so as we see over uh, as we see there are uh, three dictionary there are three dictionaries as it is a nested one so so for each dictionary that we need to access i need to create a for loop so the very first for loop that i have created is to access the first keys over here now to access this key over here what i will do is that i will pass it through one more for loop for key one comma value one in value dot items right now we will see what keys we are accessing and what uh, values we are accessing so what i will do is first i will use print key one and let's see what data we are getting so now when i run the command if you see over here i am now able to access these keys and now if i change the variable to value one and run the command you can see i am now able to access all these values over here that are corresponding to a particular key so now if i have to loop in through this uh, particular va uh, value what i have to do is i will use i will have to use one more for loop for key 2 comma value 2 in value 1 dot items right now i can again access these keys so let's see what key value we are getting over here so print key 2 now it should show me cars bikes bus and truck so if i run it so if you see over here it shows car bus trucks and bikes so now i am able to access these keys in the inner the innermost keys over here now let's see if we can access the values as well so now if we change it to value 2 and try to run it now you, if you see i am able to access the values so 50 30 50 1 5 1 so i am able to access the values associated 
to this innermost uh, key over here. Now I need to sum or I need to add the values that are associated to key over here called bus and display it. So for that, what I will do is that I will pass it through a conditional statement. Let's, so for that, I will use if, if key two equals bus, then what I will do is that I will do a count plus equal value two. So what I'm doing over here is I am doing a conditional check that if my key name is bus or not, if my key name is bus, then I am adding its value or I'm adding the uh, a value associated with that key to a variable and and that way i am summing it i'm, I'm uh, adding one after the another through the for loop now at the very end what i will do is i will print the value or i will print the sum of all the buses over here so now if i run this command if you see here it says 108 so that is the number of buses that are or num that is the number of bus that are present in this particular or the, that there is a count of uh, buses bus that are present in this particular dictionary so to verify that what i will do is i'll bring up a calculator and we will try to add it and see 5 plus 15 plus 25 plus 25 plus 8 plus 7 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 so if you see over here the the total number of buses that we have in this particular data set is 108 and that is what even we have displayed through the script i hope this helps you understand how to access the nested uh, dictionaries in python keep watching my videos for such updates for further further such um, updates in, in in my channel thank you and have a great day bye bye